Hey fellow problem solvers, Colfax Math here. Today I was going to go over a short video on the math knowledge portion of the ASVAB exam. I got eight sample problems, not too hard, not too easy, just to give you an idea what the mathematical knowledge portion of the ASVAB is about. The way you get good at these tests is by practicing. The way you learn how to juggle, practice. So a couple ideas on it to start with. Number one, it is primarily on algebra and geometry concepts. It's pretty straightforward problems to see if you remember a lot of those math rules from high school. So reviewing will make a big difference. Um, there are no word problems in the mathematical knowledge portion of the exam. You'll need to work pretty efficiently and you cannot use a calculator. All right, let's get started. Three algebra, three geometry, two order of operation problems. Here are the three algebra problems right here. Simplify. This is an expression, not an equation. There is no equal sign there, like this right here. This is going to be solve, solve for the value x. This, all you can do is combine similar terms. So I'm going to add all my x terms together. 3x minus 2x is equal to 1x. 5y plus 1y is 6y. That's how easy it is. You just have to know the rules of mathematics. Problem number two. Solve for x, 2x minus 5 equals 11. The goal is to isolate that variable x, get it by itself. First thing I'm going to do is add 5 to both sides of the equation. I can do whatever I want as long as I do it equally to both sides of the equation. So negative 5 plus 5, those will cancel, giving me 2x equals 16. Still solving for x, the reverse operation a multiplication is division. I divide both sides by 2. That will now give me x by itself. 16 divided by 2, x is equal to 8. Again, not hard. Just checking if you know the rules of mathematics. Number 3, factor x squared minus 4. That little carrot right there is the same thing as writing it this way. So I have x squared minus 4. I'm looking for two things multiplied together to equal that. Well, the only factors of x squared are an x and an x. And the only factors of 4, so that the middle term cancels out, is a 2 and a 2. Then for the last terms to multiply together to be a negative, one has to be positive, one negative. So now I factor that into two quantities. My check is, sometimes you use this mnemonic device, FOIL, which stands for multiply the first terms, the outer terms, the inner terms, the last terms. So we're going to multiply the first terms. x times x is x squared. Outer terms, negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Inner terms, positive 2x. Last terms, Whoops, sorry, last terms right there. 2 times negative 2, negative 4. I combine my similar terms. x squared minus 2x plus 2x. Those cancel, giving me x squared minus 4, exactly what I started with. So I can see I factored that correctly. OK, three geometry problems now. Find the area of a rectangle with length of 5 and width of 3. So I got a width of 3 and a length of 5. This is a 3. Um, there are no units attached here, but the way I find area is what I'm saying is I have 3 rows by 5 columns. How many squares is that? That is a total of 15 squares, 3 times 5. Calculate the perimeter of a square with length of side 6. So a lot of this is vocab. Definition of a square is all sides are equal. Perimeter is the length around the outside. So I'm going to add all those 6's up to get 24. And then lastly, number 3, determine the volume, a cubic measurement, of a cube with side length 4. So I have a cube, which is a square with the same depth as the length of side. So this is 4 
this is four, and my depth going back is four. So this is going to be four times four, 16 squares here, by six, four more this way. All right, so I'm going to have to count up all these squares. The way I count up all those squares is, let me see here, is four times four, 16 times four, 64. This one right here has units attached to it, so I would have centimeters times centimeters, centimeters squared, times centimeters, centimeters cubed. It is a volume measurement, so my answer is going to be a cubic measurement right there. Quick overview of geometry. Let's just look at a couple of order of operation problems next. Order of operations are PEMDAS. What this stands for is parentheses, exponents, multiplication or division, addition, subtraction. So you do that from left to right. So problem number one, I have three times the quantity minus five. So I got to do my parentheses first. So this is going to give me three times four plus two is six minus five. Now I do no exponents. So now I do multiplication division from left to right before I do addition subtraction. Three times six, 18. 18 minus five, 13. One more order of operations problem. Uh, no parentheses, no exponents, so I'm just going to go left to right, multiplication or division first, then addition, subtraction. 12 divided by 2 is 6, 6 times 3 plus 4, 6 times 3 is 18, 18 plus 4 is 22, that's your answer there. Okay, I hope that helped. If you need a channel, think about subscribing. Thank you.